Andrew Tate. Tate, have you heard of him? Well, he's uh, allegedly arrested in Romania, where he resides. Now, here's what you should believe about this story. Nothing. <laughs> so, can, can we start off by saying that if you believe that I believe anything about the story, you don't know me? Of course I don't believe it. Am I going to have fun with it and pretend as though it's true? Oh, yes, I am. Of course I am. Do I believe it's true? Very unlikely. Hugely unlikely. <laughs> so I'll tell you what I think is true. Best guess. But we don't know, right? It's all fog of war and mirrors and bullshit and persuasion and counterclaims. And, you know, there's, there's corruption and lying and there's... Yeah, you know, there's his last arrest is being conflated with his new arrest, and there's stuff about Greta Thunberg and the pizza box, which totally was bullshit. How many of you believe that he was caught by the authorities because he showed a pizza box on TV that showed he was in Romania, and so that was how they knew to nab him? <laughs> did, did anybody think that was suspicious from the jump? No, of course that didn't happen. Widely reported? Yes. Did it happen? No. <laughs> right, but Greta, Greta uh, treated it like it was real. So the story yesterday, which wasn't real, is that he was so dumb, he showed a pizza box that showed he was in the country, so they picked him up, and why didn't he know not to do that, how dumb he is? So none of that's true. But uh, Greta, being somewhat like me in this regard, decided to treat it as true, because it's funny. So let's go with that. And she tweeted, this is what happens when you don't recycle your pizza boxes. (laughs) Because he was joking that he wasn't going to recycle his pizza box. And then he ended up in a Romanian jail like a few hours later. (laughs) Greta's dunking on him. This is what happens when you don't recycle your pizza boxes. Now, do I believe that Greta comes up with her own Twitter jokes and tweets on her own? Of course not. <laughs> of course not. You know, I, do, I don't know. I mean, I don't rule it out. Don't rule it out. But it's a little bit, little bit too good. You know what I mean? You know, I, I'm a professional. I, I, know what a, I know what a professional tweet looks like. And while Greta has some game, she, she, she has some game for sure, Mm, not quite there. <laughs> this is a little bit better than her game. So I think she's got some help, but uh, it must be qualified help because they're doing a good job. All right, now, one of the versions of the story is that they, uh, the Tate brothers and two others were arrested, allegedly, for, let's see, Fox News is saying, <clears throat> as of this morning, assume all of this is going to change. Like, everything you know about this will be different in an hour. But uh, Fox News was reporting this morning that it was the, the raid was because uh, there appear, they appear, appear to have, the Tates, created an organi- organized crime group with the purpose of recruiting, housing, and exploiting women by forcing them to create pornographic content meant to be seen uh, on a specialized website, blah, blah. And then there, there's another rumor that that rumor was completely false and they were really brought in to discuss some kind of money laundering thing which might be part of some larger investigation of which they would be just a part of it. In which case, they might not even be charged or anything. They might be just witnesses or people of interest or something like that. Now, is any of that true? Assume none of it's true. Just, Just assume everything is untrue. That's your best position at the moment, because very little of it looks true to me. Now, you may have seen some videos that showed them being arrested um, and then being released. Some of those are from the past, so those are not new videos, because they were picked up one other time and released. So you'll see they're they're wearing different clothing. Uh, You see one where he appears to have handcuffs, but I, I don't know if that's real. Who knows? Then there's, they say that they found $10 million in cash in one of his homes. Is that real? Do, do, do you think if the most corrupt government in the world 
found $10 million of cash in a, an accused criminal's home, do you think that would be accurately reported? I mean, just ask yourself that. $10 million in untraceable cash, and they would report exactly how much they found. I mean, just think about it. <laughs> now, if they reported 10 and there was any money there at all, they found 20. You get that, right? If they really found, if they really reported 10, and who knows if that's true, and they actually said, here's this 10 million, they probably found 20. Wink, wink. All right. Because one thing that nobody is questioning is that Romania is like the most corrupt place in the world. And even the Tates say that directly. They, they say they chose it because it's one of the most corrupt places in the world. And as long as you understand that and you have money, it works really well for you. Now, let me ask you this. In the most corrupt country in the world, let's say it's you know one of the most, in one of the most corrupt countries in the world, if they pick you up and they know you have tens of millions of dollars, what are the odds that you will uh, spend a day in jail? Just think about it. What are the odds that somebody with tens of millions of uh, untraceable cash and probably crypto and everything else what are the odds that that guy spends even one day in jail? Now, allegedly, he was in some kind of jail last night. Do you believe he was behind bars last night? I don't know one way or another, but it seems highly un- unlikely to me. The most likely outcome is that they handcuffed him, brought him into the police facility, and they said, let's talk behind this closed door. And then he would go behind the closed door with somebody who was looking for a very big bribe. And the person looking for the very big bribe would negotiate with him. And they'd say, all right, we have to sort of pretend we're a real police force. So we'll probably keep you here for a few hours. But, you know, then we'll we'll release you so it looks like we actually did something. But thanks for the $10 million. Why in the world would anybody in the police force not try to shake him down? Apparently there's no... There's nothing to stop everybody in power from collecting bribes. That seems to be genuinely, generally understood. So does anybody think he's going to go to jail in Romania? It's probably the safest place he could ever be. In fact, I would argue that the safest place Andrew Tate could be in the entire planet Earth would be arrested, allegedly, inside a a Romanian police force. In theory, those are the people he owns or will own in about five minutes. Here's something else that has to be injected into the story. Oh, and let me, let me say directly, innocent until proven guilty. Now, you all know that I'm no fan of the Tates, right? Everybody knows that. So I'm not a supporter. I, I would love to see him go down because he's a bad human being. And I have you know, personal, you know, personal interaction that would be good enough for me to be happy if something bad happened to him. But he's innocent until proven guilty. And I've not seen anything that would change my mind on that. Now, do I think it's unlikely that there's any illegality going on? Oh, I would say he's sending strong signals that there's something going on. <laughs> yeah, if, if you were to look for glaring signals, there's a little bit too much unexplained cash floating around in that situation. Am I right? (laughs) So if he can explain how he has access to so much cash, good luck with that. Good luck with that. But the fact is, there's no evidence of a crime. Having a lot of money is not evidence of a crime. Now, I heard on a a Spaces show last night, uh, an expert on financial crimes, who was also an expert on the subcategory of uh, trafficking. Because there's usually a way to catch traffickers is you can catch them through their financial transactions. Now, that expert said, ooh, everything about this fits the pattern of some trafficker. But that doesn't mean he committed a crime. Now, here's where it's going to get really interesting. If it turns out he's um, accused of, let's say, any kind of forced sexual activity or forcing anybody to do anything sexual or... Um, there are videos of him, you know, uh, having paddled or whipped women, 
and there's some ambiguity about their participation in it or whether they participated like at a small level, but he took it too far, which would also be a problem. You know, so there's some ambiguity there. But here's what you don't know. You know he's trained by a hypnotist, right? Do you all know that? It's not, a, it's not an accident that he's the biggest thing on the Internet. He has the actual skills. He's actually been trained. How many of you knew that? That, that he's, he's got Trump-level skills, but actually trained by a hypnotist. If you put Tate in a court, I just don't think he can get convicted. <laughs> Cause, and I hate, to, I hate to say this, but his skill level is so high that I don't think he could be jailed. I know that's a big claim, but he has the ability to bend reality so well because he actually has, he's learned specific skills, right? It's not, it's not like a native ability. It's not just that he's a bully. He has actual skills. So his skill stack for manipulation and persuasion is off the chart. Like, he, he's, he might be exceeding my own abilities here. Because he's added, he's very cleverly added the, the macho alpha thing. So if you add the, the, alpha, the alpha thing, you know, the whole persona, if you add that to a persuasion stack, it really does double it. Right, and I don't have that going on. And it's, it would be similar to a beautiful woman, who also added to her capabilities persuasion. That would be so far beyond what just any normal person who knows persuasion could do. So, because of his physicality, which is impressive, and that that persona he's created, and then the fame, and the you know the the, the following that he's created. He, he has more power than most court systems. Uh, like, I, I think he could be, hypothetically, dead guilty for a crime and wouldn't have much of a chance of going to jail at all. Not at all. See, between the money and the corruption, and even if you assumed he was wrongly accused, he would still walk free because his, his, his talent level is at that level. If you don't see it, it's because you you know you're not trained in the persuasion. So I, I don't think I, I don't think he had a bad night last night necessarily. Maybe might surprise me. But don't even assume he had a bad night. He may have had a perfectly good night last night. He may have had more sex last night than most of you. <laughs> because if you don't think he could have had sex inside the police station on the night that he was supposed to be in jail. If you don't think he could have gotten a girl in there and had sex with her in the police station, then you haven't been paying attention. He totally could do that. All right. I don't know, and I'm not saying he did. I'm saying that if you're in the most corrupt country and you have tens of millions of dollars of free cash, and this is only rumored, I'm not making this claim, is rumored you might have some connection to organized crime, if you're, if you're connected to organized crime, the only way you're going to stay down is if they want you to. So it, it, it's possible that he pissed off somebody that he works with, right? That would be a different situation. That would be dangerous. <laughs> but if he only, but if, if it's just the police pretending to arrest him. All right, so you can have an interesting conversation about free will and whether or not uh, Andrew Tate hypnotized them, brainwashed them, or they were willing. Because you know that part of the story is that some of the women, I don't know how many, had his name ta- tattooed on their crotches. Do you believe that that was against their will? It's impossible to know. It's actually impossible to know. Because the Tates have enough skill that they could change somebody's mind from something that makes sense to something that's a bad idea, and that person would actually think it was their idea until maybe later they change their mind. And what is that? Is that free will because the person had all the information and then they made the decision and they thought it was their own decision? Was that free will? And then later they changed their mind and said, oh, my God, I must have been, I must have been brainwashed. Why did I do that? Is that free will? There's no way to convict him. <laughs> 